I wanted to ask uh, Dantaya because um, you started out um, on the factory floor. That had to be a hard way to get going in your career. In, in the beginning, always in human resources, but in a manufacturing setting, and oftentimes having to be in situations where I would have to negotiate with the union as I was representing the company. And one thing that I noticed is my predecessors and even the folks who followed me, um, they had a very different um, experience in preparing for negotiations. For me, I was required to go through deep negotiations assessment centers, right? Um, I was questioned on uh, my ability to be firm with our employees and oftentimes asked to provide discipline with a witness so that they could prove that I could be a good negotiator. And I remember um, one moment where my boss said, you know, look, Dante, we're just trying to show and prove that you can do this. And I said, I have a relationship with these people. I don't need a witness. You have to trust me. Actually going through those experiences and having to have deep reviews in order to, to prove myself actually makes me a better leader. I treat people differently. I am very focused on making sure I empower people because I didn't feel empowered. I make sure I make sure everyone's voice is being heard because I remember those days when my voice was suppressed. I didn't even realize it, but I now that I have one, it's a big one. Um, <laughs> you know, I realize, oh my gosh, I was so quiet. Um, and so I try to make sure that those who follow me and are in my presence um, don't have that same experience. And there's one thing that I've written sort of in my leadership philosophy, and that is having the courage to stand up for what's right, because we really do spend a lot of time trying to fit. And I think it's really important to be disruptive. Don't try to fit in, right? Try to be that voice, that difference, so that we can actually be more innovative and come up with better decisions.